peace and blessing be upon you. In the beginning, I would like to welcome my friend, uh, uh, Secretary Blinken. And after uh, our meeting today, which is a continuation for a series of discussion, an important dialogue that uh, took place over uh, the previous uh, month uh, uh, after the war uh, started in Gaza and uh, uh, pathways to end that uh, war and to prevent this war from uh, expand in the region. And as uh, you all know, uh, we have uh, also discussed uh, the response that we have received from Hamas and the Palestinian uh, fractions uh, on the last uh, proposal uh, on the, uh, to stop the war and uh, release uh, uh, the hostages and of course in coordination with the uh, other uh, uh, partner and we would like to confirm that the state of Qatar and Egypt and the United States of America are committed uh, in their partnership in order to uh, uh, find an, uh, an ending to this war and a deal to exchange uh, the hostages uh, and in this uh, also uh, regard, we highly uh, evaluate uh, the effort uh, efforts uh, that President Biden have exhorted in order to uh, reach uh, th this uh, proposal in a, uh, a text, uh, in a way to bring together the uh, uh, parties. And as we have mentioned in many previous uh, stops, that in such. Uh, deal uh, both uh, parties need to uh, uh, make some concession in order to reach uh, uh, a suitable arrangement and reach uh, a deal. We in the state of Qatar with our partners committed to bridge the gap to find uh, uh, a way to uh, end the war as soon as uh, possible and we would like uh, to send a message to everyone that every day is uh, a loss of lives uh, and uh, of innocent uh, people every day that uh, pass in the previous eight months uh, unfortunately we have seen the catastrophe increasing day after day and we see more uh, casualties especially of the civilians with their children women in gaza uh, strip and uh, W with no doubt, we need uh, to take a clear position and demand uh, to put an end to this uh, war. Uh, 37,000 37, martyrs have passed so far, or died so far, and uh, thousands wounded. In addition to this uh, collective punishment policy and starvation that has been used uh, against our brothers in, the, in uh, Gaza, we are witnessing uh, also a change in this uh, conflict uh, in the previous uh, uh, time and uh, there is uh, a clear and firm call to uh, put an end uh, to this uh, war and uh, in this uh, also uh, regard we have uh, received uh, the security council uh, resolution which was presented by the united states of america for an immediate ceasefire and a deal to exchange uh, the hostages and go back to the uh, political uh, uh, negotiation to find a uh, sustainable uh, solution and we in the state of Qatar welcome uh, that uh, uh, resolution in the previous uh, 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 time there were so many meetings uh, and uh, uh, regional conferences and international ones we have uh, participated them in the state of Qatar in order to uh, find a sustainable uh, uh, solution to the Palestinian uh, uh, case and also there was uh, there were visits uh, uh, in light of the ministerial committee uh, that have been uh, uh, established uh, and also uh, the meetings uh, with the uh, uh, European uh, foreign ministers and yesterday we have participated in a conference uh, that uh, for uh, uh, um, an immediate humanitarian response uh, uh, and by uh, the uh, call of uh, uh, King Abdullah the second and uh, uh, the president uh, uh, of Egypt Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and uh, the Secretary General of the United, uh, uh, United Nations who call for an immediate actions to end uh, this war uh, and uh, the respect of the international law and also in this regard we welcome also the continuation of the air uh, uh, support or air uh, drop uh, uh, by uh, uh, the uh, uh, Americans and and also we would like also uh, uh, 
uh, uh, to praise your additional uh, uh, package of support to Gaza and the state of Qatar is continue with its efforts in order to send all uh, humanitarian aid uh, uh, continuously to our uh, uh, brothers. Uh, Your Excellency, you know that uh, we are living a very critical times uh, and uh, we believe that reaching uh, a deal an agreement is very important and uh, this uh, deal will save uh, 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 the lives of the innocents and also will save the re whole uh, region which is on the verge uh, of uh, collapse and explosion and uh, we uh, uh, depend uh, rely on the american role and our also partners uh, in Egypt and uh, the rest of the countries in order to pressure all the parties to reach an agreement that uh, uh, end this war and your excellency you know that uh, I believe that we have received uh, 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 it's time that we need to reach a sustainable uh, solution and today we have discussed uh, uh, discuss how to reach those sustainable solutions that uh, bring the stability to uh, the to, to Gaza and to our also brothers in the West Bank and to everyone that lives in this region we believe that the sustainable uh, solution and is a, a just one which is in a create a Palestinian uh, s state uh, with the Jerusalem its capital based on the international uh, law on the borders of 1967 to live uh, in peace uh, uh, alongside with Israel and uh, as you, you aware your excellency that uh, the region is uh, open to have uh, a clear uh, uh, peace uh, 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 agreement based on the Arab Peace Initiative and uh, there is a movement in the uh, um, uh, General Assembly to uh, receive uh, Palestine or accept Palestine as a full member and this uh, step will also contribute uh, to the two-state solution. Thank you Your Excellency for your uh, presence in Doha and for your continuous uh, cooperation and on our uh, strategic partner Ship with the USA in this conflict on any other uh, on, uh, on other uh, 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 um, uh, files and uh, issues.